Mishmin Tulis, Conrakot Canyon, Coyote Woman, Sarah's Roots. <laughs> I'm a Mutsunaloni, California native. My homelands are very south of here, but I'd like to acknowledge the land that we are at right now. Can I hear you say Yelamu? Yelamu. May I hear you say Ramatush? These are first words and first languages of the land. I come from a matrilineal society. My mother, my grandmother believe that when song, ceremony, and dancing stops, so does the earth. I too believe that, and I would like to offer a grandmother song to honor our grandmothers, their grandmothers, and an all-mother earth, for without them and without her, we would not be here. We share this time and space together for a reason, so it's with that humility, that gratitude, that present-mindedness that I offer this song in this space with you today. Moi, moi, o koa no. Moi, moi, o ko. Moi, moi, no. Moi, moi, o ko. Moi, moi, o nehe. say, oh, oh, it is so very important that we acknowledge the land that we are on in today's post-colonial settler society. And I want to introduce Chairman Jonathan, <coughs> Chairman Jonathan Cordero of the Association of the Ramatush Ohlone Peoples. <coughs> Uh, everyone. Uh, my name is Jonathan Cordero. I am the chairperson of the Association of Ramatush Ohlone Peoples. We are the original peoples of the San Francisco Peninsula. And I'd like to share with you today a lament uh, and a challenge. The, uh, the original peoples uh, that I'll be talking about today are the California Indians who were incorporated into the mission system from Sonoma to San Diego, and we're a part of that group of people. Uh, after colonization, or I should say as a result of colonization, we lost about 80% of the indigenous population from Sonoma to San Diego along the coast. After Spanish colonization, we confronted state-sponsored genocide. And by state, I don't mean the state of California, I mean the federal government paid money to people in California to kill California Indians. As a result of colonization and genocide, uh, California Indians today, still today, um, are impoverished in a number of ways. That's the lament. Here's the challenge. I teach at a private liberal arts university. And um, self-critical examination is the core philosophy of a private liberal arts education. And so I'm always asking my students questions. So one of the questions I ask my students is, you know, what percentage of the population do you think has access to a private liberal arts education? 5%, 3%, 1%? ?1%? The next question, of course, uh, is a hard one, which is, and what are you going to do with it? Obviously, you're privileged. What are you going to do with it? So I want to make that same challenge to you. We are here on native lands that have been taken from people, and we all benefit from it. And we know those Native peoples are still suffering from the adverse effects of impoverishment in a number of ways. So the question to you then is, what are you going to do with all of your gifts, talents, resources, and privileges? And my suggestion to you is that when we all reconvene next year, that some of you take time to give back 
to the native community in the Bay Area on whose land you, re you are now, in this case, you know, um, visiting. Uh, some, of you, some of you obviously live here. So I'm going to leave you with that challenge. Uh, enjoy your week. Listen, learn, grow, and give. Thank you. And in coming in with song, we will leave with song. As an indigenous woman who travels around the Bay, consulting and voicing, bringing in indigenous pedagogies and teachings and wisdoms to recognize that if we all honor our elders and honor our ancestors, our ancestors have indigenous lineages to the land that they originally come from. And to recognize that indigenous protocol reminds us to recognize whose land we are on. Indigenous peoples being the first stewards of the territory, it's so very important that we come humbly, respectfully, and be good guests and be welcomed by good hosts in a good way. And so in closing, I want to offer a hummingbird song because hummingbirds are here in the bay and they're beautiful and they travel and they pollinate and they're just kind of like my personality. <coughs> Humunya, 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 weha, weha. Humunya, 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 weha, weha, ho. Humunya, 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 weha, weha. Humunya, 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 weha, weha, ho. Humunya, 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 weha. Weha, homunya, 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 weha, weha, ho. Homunya, 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 weha, weha. Homunya, 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 weha, weha, ho. Oh, and welcome to Yolamu. Thank you for your time. <laughs>